Hello, my name is Jacob Wallach. Uh, thank you all for attending. I did my presentation on fracking. Now, what exactly is fracking? Fracking is short for hydraulic fracturing. It is a method of fuel extraction um, where you pump in a lot of water, sand, and additives into the ground to fracture the rock and uh, allow pools of natural gas and oil to accumulate so that you can extract previously unreachable forms of fuel. Um, it's not a new method. It's been used for the last 65 years. However, it is um, being used much more frequently now thanks to technological advances and increasing gas prices making it more profitable. Now, there are some concerns with fracking. Uh, it's, a, it's a new process and of course that's going to bring controversy. Uh, primarily environmental concerns. Uh, fracking is not an alternative fuel or fuel source. It is a source of old fossil fuels. So it doesn't really do anything for carbon emissions. Uh, there's also the issue of water pollution where a lot of these additives are highly toxic that they put into the water. And so the concern is what happens if there's a leak or an accident or this water leaks into the ground supply and poisons people. Uh, it's also water waste. This process uses, I saw one site estimate billions of gallons of water. Um, and a lot of this because of the additives can't be put back into the water cycle. There's even some concerns that it causes earthquakes, which I guess the thinking is it expands the rock, it cracks the rock, and then you take everything out of it, and the rock has to fall at some point. Um, and there has been an increase of earthquakes in recent years, although it's a challenge that it's actually caused by fracking. Of course, uh, there are counterclaims to these arguments. For example, most of the fuel taken from fracking is natural gas, and it's the cleanest burning fossil fuel out there. Um, there is claims that the pollution is either unrelated or simply due to above ground accidents. In other words, the fact that it's, there's pollution due to fracking is merely, as they claim, an accident, and not it has nothing to do with the fact that it has its fracking specifically. They also claim that these chemical additives that are so uh, contentious are actually making the process safer or cleaner because they prevent uh, corrosion in the pipes and they make it cheaper to extract the fuel, which actually decreases the fuel needs in the process of extracting the fuel, reducing carbon emissions. Um, despite this, they are developing new processes such as using liquefied propane gas instead of water which would cut down on water waste as well as um, make the liquid more usable in other forms, such as fuel or uh, just cooling it down again and putting it back into the ground for another well site. Uh, of course, there are economic benefits. The United States in recent years has become the leading producer of natural gas, and the same is expected to occur with oil in the next few years. Um, a lot of politicians would like America to be energy independent, not relying upon other nations for our oil sources. Um, and this, this takes us closer to that point. It also allows us to trade more with uh, friendlier countries, such as Canada. Uh, we actually get most of our gas that's imported from Canada nowadays, thanks to them doing more fracking as well. Um, of course, there's more jobs. Uh, in recent years, the uh, oil fields have been booming with jobs and, of course, cheaper fuel. Uh, gas prices have been going down, and a lot of that has been suspected to be because of uh, just the amount of oil that we have available in the U.S. now. And that's good for almost every sector of the economy at the moment. Um, of course, that leads to some concerns. Cheaper gas, of course, removes the incentive to develop green alternatives. Um, 
you wouldn't find gas considerations might not go into your uh, thought process when buying a car if gas is pretty cheap. Um, currently, the market is flooded with oil, which has slowed the job growth uh, that was occurring a few years back. Um, that still leads to low prices for everyone else, but at the moment it's getting harder to find a job in this field. And of course, water problems. California, for example, is going through an immense drought at the moment, and it's still using a large amount of water that can't be reused for other processes for fracking. So, I guess, in conclusion, there is a big process of fracking occurring right now, and it is has a lot of potential environmental and health concerns, but at the same time, it's making a lot of people a lot of money, and so it's not likely to be banned anytime soon. Um, but any questions?